Hey guys, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog, the Van Build Project 2 Overlander, with thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue, garysglue.ie, of course, supplying all of the glue that we're going to be using on this build and also sponsoring the build videos. Anyway, what are we at today? So we're doing the Overlander and we said that a lot of it is cosmetic. So you would have seen the video now of the snorkel being fitted, which I was delighted to get that snorkel, I have to be honest. However, I have a bit of a hold up on getting the bracket made for the solar at this stage. I think today is around the 8th or 9th of December. It's the 6th of December and I'm still waiting for the bracket for the solar. And as soon as I get that, that gives me a better chance then to start all the electrics. I'm also waiting for Tommy, if you remember. Tommy, he's good with wood. He helped us out with the carpentry work on the van build, the Biba. He's coming to give me a hand at designing and fitting some storage units that have become a bit of an afterthought onto the build. So while we're doing that, I need to be getting these videos out to you guys. I'm going to fit a set of spotlights. It looks like I wanted four roof lights on the roof of the Jeep, but that's not going to happen. But I did get a fabulous set of spotlights to fit onto the front of the Jeep, and I'm going to show them to you now. But first of all, I got to get the Jeep in here, close the doors because it's flipping free. <laughs> So as I said, I'm not going to get, well it looks like I'm not going to get the four spotlights on the roof that I really, really wanted to do. But what I am going to do is fit two spotlights to the bumper. Now this bumper system is a biatch. To fit two spotlights on most cars, you might have to take the grill off and you can get in, drill the bumper, fit the spotlights. Not on this, you have to take the full bumper off. Let me turn this camera and show you. So I want to fit two spotlights there. I'm going to show you the spotlights in a second. And in order to do that, I've got to take off the grill. I've got to take out the two headlights. There's about six screws on the top. They're actually little bolts. I think they're five mil bolts. There are four, um, what do you call them, hex screws at the bottom. And I believe four Phillips screws at the bottom. And then it's simply, seemingly, just a matter of pulling the bumper here and it all clips off. Then you've got to disconnect the fog lights and you've also got to disconnect the washers, the washers for the lights. Yeah, I've seen two videos that I've watched a few times and they've done it in 20 minutes. I can see this taking a lot longer than 20 minutes. Let me show you the spotlights I got. These are absolutely fantastic. Do you know I begrudge fitting them onto this Jeep because I'll be selling the Jeep. I'd much rather fit them onto the Heimer or even the ambulance, but oh my God, they are gonna make the front of this look brilliant. Take a look at these. Now I have found it very hard to get spotlights over the past couple of weeks because fellas in auto accessory shops are saying that because the cars have gone so electronic, you flick on a set of spotlights and your ECU is going, oh no, there's something wrong. It's drawing too much voltage. So these are going to go on a separate switch. They are chrome, none of your plastic stuff. And I honestly think they are going to look fantastic on the front of this Jeep. I really, really begrudge fitting these onto the Jeep because I'm selling it because I love spotlights. And it was the last pair in one of our biggest auto accessory shops here in County Tip. Now my plan is to fit the two of these, possibly one there, a gap between them, and the second one here. I don't want them right beside each other. In fact, let me get the two spotlights and I'll try and hold them up together. So this is what I'm thinking. I think they are going to look fantastic on this. Right, I gotta do some measuring. Figure out exactly where I want these spotlights. Mark the bumper. Now what I'm gonna have to do, I'm not gonna record all of this. I'll take a few photographs and I'll slide them in here onto this video. But what I am gonna have to do when I take the bumper off, I'm gonna have to get some metal to put in under the bumper to take the spotlights because that bumper is very, very flimsy. So at least if I put a sheet, I have aluminium here. I might put two sheets of aluminium just to thicken it up and then drill through the bumper, drill through the aluminium, fit the spotlights. I don't know how much it is. I doubt if I get it wired. Now these spotlights are a four wire system. 
they've got parking lights and they've got spotlights. They're not rings, they're actual bulbs. They're none of your LEDs. I might not bother with the parking lights. And then again, I might bother with the parking lights. I really don't know yet. The first priority is to get them in and I might just have to put a few lengths of cable on so I don't have to take the bumper off again to get to the cables. So first thing first, I got to measure up and then take it from there. Okay, so I have the holes marked on it now. I think if I'm not mistaken, I'm in 17 centimeters from both sides and I'm out five centimeters to get the center holes drilled. Now I've got to take the bumper off. Now, what I have here, and I don't know if you'll see them from there, but I've got six small five mil bolts that I have to take off here. And then I believe I've got to get underneath and there's eight more between hex bolts and Phillips head screws. I got to get them off as well. So now that I have the bumper off, I did notice that, I think I might have mentioned it earlier on in the video, the bumper is very flimsy where I'm going to be fitting the spotlights. Just let me turn this camera, I'll show you what I'm talking about. It's absolutely lashing out of the heavens. So spotlights are going where I had the marks. I don't know where they are. Anyway, they're going there. But in here, I'm going to have to put, actually wait, I get a torch. I'm going to have to put some top of that over there. Right. In here. <sighs> That's where the spotlights are going to be going. And I'm going to just put a sheet. I have some aluminium there. And I'm going to cut a sheet of aluminium just to put it in there, just to strengthen where the spotlights are going to be going through. So I'm going to measure that and cut that now. Okay, guys, progress up, uh, update. Bumper off, spotlights on. Actually, let me turn this camera. I've got the spotlights mounted on the bumper. They're not totally tightened up yet, but the problem I'm having is the tails that are on the cables are short. So I've got to extend them because when I get that bumper back on there, I want the cables to come up into that corner. So I've gonna got a coil of cable. I've got my soldering iron. I'm just gonna get my heat shrink and I'm gonna to get to extend those four cables. There's four cables going in this. You've got your ground, you've got your parking lights, you've got headlights and you've got dipped lights. I won't be using the headlights. I'll just be using three cables. So I'm just gonna extend all four anyway and get them in behind the headlight and then I'll work on them at a later date. Okay, so. 20 to 3, <laughs> I got out here at 9, I think I started 20 past 9. I did take a break for a sandwich, in fairness. I watched two videos of guys taking bumpers off Range Rovers. Six screws on top, two at the side, four underneath. I got the six screws on top, the four underneath, well, one of them rung. There was only one at the side and one was gone, but I've replaced it. Anyway, you saw I got the bumper off. Uh, they're not wired as in wired back into the cab, but they are wired because when you put the bumper back on, I had to put on tails just into the... Let me show you what they look like. I love those spotlights and I swear, I mean, I know we're selling this Overlander when it's finished. I would much rather have kept those spotlights and put them onto the front of the Heimer or my new van if we change the van in the next year or so because it's like hen's teeth trying to get spotlights, but I'm sure you'll agree, they look flippin' fantastic. They have a parking bulb in them, which I'm going to switch on with the parking lights, and then I'm gonna put a switch on the dash to flick on the spotlights, because if you put them on with your headlights, your ECU might say, oh, hang on, the lights are drawing too much power, and they could go in to limp mode, so it's just as handy to put a toggle switch on the dash for those spotlights, but I will put the parkers on but oh my God, they look flipping beautiful. So I'm sure you'll agree, they do, they look well. And as I've said a few times, aesthetics, you know, that's why I wanted the chunky wheels, that's why I wanted the vent up the side, the snorkel kit, that's why I want the spotlights. I would really love 
and I haven't knocked it on the head yet. Spotlights on the front. Anyway, that is another build video. With thanks to our friends at Gary's Glue, Gary's Glue.ie, sponsors of all of the van build videos, Project 2 Overlander from me, Aaron, from Charlie and me, our camping vlog. Stay safe, guys. Take care of yourselves till we meet again. Talk again very, very soon. Bye-bye.